Hey guys, Hello Bella here, and today I'm going to be reviewing my new Brahmin bag. This is the blue dragon pattern. This is really a pattern that I've had my eye on for a while. I really, really like this. And I got a chance to go to the Brahmin store in Birmingham at the Summit, and I really just could not pass up on this bag. It was 30% off, so it was just above $200. I think it was like $210. So, I just kind of wanted to take a look at it and show you guys the bag. So, not sure if you can notice, but I am outside. I wanted to get this shiny color and it looks best in the sunlight. And I just kind of wanted to get a shot of this before we go inside. I think that I'm probably going to wind up carrying the purse without the strap just because I don't really like to carry a strap. It's just too much for me. Um, but I'm going to take a look inside the purse and kind of show you a little bit of detail. All right, guys, we are inside now. I have removed the first strap. And just in case you don't know how to do that, all you have to do is take this loop and push it back. And then there's a little ball here that comes out from the purse. And that is a little bit hard to get undone just because the purse is new and it's still kind of stiff. But you can pretty easily take these straps off of this purse. I'm just going to be carrying it with these main handles because that's how I usually carry my purse, just over my arm. All right, now we're down to just the purse with the handles and no strap. One of the reasons why I really wanted this purse was the bottom here. These are super useful if you're like me and you're constantly putting your purse on the ground in different places. I seem to always be sticking my purse on the ground, so these are really useful when you are doing that. They can help lengthen the life of your purse. I actually had those on my last purse and I wound up carrying it for about a year and a half, so I'm hoping to get a good solid year out of this purse. My mom was actually asking me what color the purse is and I didn't really have an answer for her because sometimes it's blue, sometimes it's teal, sometimes it's gold, sometimes it's purple. It's just really one of those purses that shines in the light and I think that this is going to be a purse that I get a lot of compliments on just because it's unique. I really go for purses that are kind of loud and kind of, you know, just something different. I don't really like to have what everybody else has just because it's just not my style. So let's take a look inside. Let's open her up and check out the interior. So as you can see, you've got the Brahmin lining with the Brahmin text in here, and you've got a little zipper pouch. And then on the other side, we've got some other storage options. I like the zipper pouch because it's really big. As you can see here, you can fit like, uh, you know, about the length of a pen in here. So you can fit plenty of stuff. If you wanted to store your wallet in there, there's plenty of room for that. And we've got the Brahmin registration card. It also comes with this little keychain feature, which you can clip things onto in your purse. I'm not really sure what I would do with that, but that is an option if you wanted to hook your keys to this. Now, just viewing the purse from the back, there is not a lot of detail on the back as far as pockets go, but there is this little pocket here that can easily fit your phone. I've got the iPhone 13 Pro Max, a pretty big phone, and it fit right in here. Quite snug, but it fit pretty well in that slot. As we open the purse from the other side, we can see that there are several pockets here. There are three pockets lined up and two of them are larger and then one of them is smaller. I would consider this like a good pocket for pens, maybe a lip gloss or something like that. I've personally never owned a Brahmin bag before, so I'm kind of excited to see some of the reactions that I get. I was carrying a Fendi purse for about a year and a half and people always loved it. And then like after a year and a half, the little Fendi logo on the front fell off and then nobody said anything about it. So I thought that was pretty funny just to see like how people are brand aware and and if it's not a brand that they recognize, they really don't care. I still got a lot of compliments on that purse, but after the Fendi logo fell off, I felt like everyone was not as jazzed about it. But speaking of logos, one more look at the logo on the front. This is just a close-up view of it. It's very simple. It's on a gold bar. It just says Brahmin. And I think that most people who know what these purses are can kind of spot it because they all have a pretty similar look, a pretty similar pattern. And being that leather pattern that people always recognize, I think it's going to be pretty easy to kind of show it off. All right, guys, now that I have got the straps off of it, I wanted you to see it one more time outside. This is what the bag looks like, and I'm about to go put everything in it so you can kind of see how it functions, and I can sort of decide where I'm going to put everything, and that might give you a better idea if this purse is big enough for you. I usually tend towards a medium-sized purse. I don't like the overly large purses, but I also don't like those tiny purses because I have a pretty big wallet and I have a big phone, so I need enough room to store all of my junk. 
All right, guys, so here is my new purse, and then here is my old purse that I was telling you guys about. This is that Fendi bag, and you can see here where that Fendi logo fell off eventually, and I really should have saved it for resale value, but I think I just got mad and threw it away. <laughs> You can see here that this purse just is the coolest color. It's super shiny, super vibrant, and I just can't get over the way that it like shines in the light. So let's go ahead and get all of our old stuff into this cute new bag. All right, guys, here is the entire contents of my life thrown out on the kitchen table. As you can see, most of the stuff really does not need to be in my purse. So I'm gonna clean it out and see what all I want to keep. Definitely gotta keep my gum, definitely gotta keep my sunscreen, my highlighter, my, I got a Krabby Patty. So <laughs> there's a quite a big assortment of goods in here. All right, guys, I got everything transferred over and I only wound up keeping like one fourth of that pile. I did kind of see the purpose of the keychain thing to be able to find your keys in your purse. If you're like me and you're always trying to dig through and figure out where they are, you can just hook it to this. That way you'll always sort of know where you are. So all I wound up putting back in my purse is my wallet, my keys, some of my ibuprofen. And then on my other side here, I've got my handy highlighter and then I've got a pack of gum and I've got room for more if I do acquire more things. But I would say if you're just carrying a couple of things, this is a great purse. I think it's considered a smaller purse, but to me, it really doesn't seem that small. Um, it opens up pretty wide in the bottom here and I've got a lot more space to get in there if I need to stick anything like sneaking in snacks to the movies or something like that. I think this purse would be fine for that. All right, guys, I hope that you enjoyed this review of my new Brahmin bag. I love it. I'm so excited to carry it. And I think this may start a trend for me to purchase more Brahmin bags as long as this thing holds up over time. I love the construction of it. I love the simplicity of the design and I love the colors and I could see myself definitely wanting some more colors in this type of handbag. So thanks so much for watching, guys. I'll catch you in the next video.